Go. Hi everyone, it's Miss Rose. I just wanted to wish you all good luck in the future and to let you all know that it has been a pleasure to be with you over the last two years. Whether you need copies, Kleenexes, pencils or pens, or some tape, I'm always here for you. Remember that. Good luck in the high school. Without Rachel, our Chumash class would be boring. She has interesting thoughts, ideas, and stories on everything that we're learning. Rachel's poise and passion are sure to make her successful in high school and beyond. We're gonna miss, I'm going to miss teaching you, Rachel. It is always a pleasure to teach students like Dahlia. I teach Dahlia Hebrew this year. Dahlia consistently comes to class eager to learn and to understand. And she does it all with grace and respect to her teacher and her classmates. Dahlia, have a great summer and Behatz Lacha in the upper school. We will miss you. But Sheva is an absolute pleasure to teach. She comes in every day super happy and ready to share a laugh. As well, she's an extremely talented cartoonist. I'm always blown away by how creative she is with her cartoons. But Sheva, you're gonna do awesome in high school. That's Lacha Raba. Uh, go. Hi, my name is Moshe Shields, and I'm here to talk about a spectacular young man, Yaakov Reches. Yaakov is someone who has this great smile. He lit up our Maccabiah, our color war, both years he was in our middle school. He's the person who you could count on to do an act of chesed, to make every single child feel like they're worth a million bucks. We love you, Yaakov, and we wish you much atzlacha in high school and beyond. Hi, my name is Rabbi Weissman, and I'm here to talk about Alan Reed. Alan is someone who wants to know everything. In class, he's the student who's always asking questions, but it all comes down to the fact that he just wants to know the truth. He wants MS. He, he wants to understand all the perspectives that we're discussing in class, and this desire to, to know and to question is going to get him very far in life, and something that uh, we should all aspire to, to do, to always question and to get really to the truth to everything. That's luck next year in high school. I first met Naomi Rosenbaum when she was a student in my sixth grade Mishnah class. Naomi immediately impressed me as being the most conscientious and attentive student. She had a great sense of humor, but could also present herself in a really very mature and articulate manner. This year, I had the pleasure of having Naomi as one of the three eighth graders in our middle school Model UN club. And once again, she hit a home run, not only in our weekly meetings, how she represented herself and her country at the conference in April, but she was also really a model for the younger students. Naomi, I wish you much success, and I'm fairly certain that we haven't seen the last of you in Model UN. Much Hatzlacha next year. Hi, my name is Mrs. Atlas, and I am here to talk about Noam Roth. Noam has a special meet of truth, Emet. Noam always wants to make sure that the truth is known and that people act on the truth. One of the things I most admire about Noam is his eagerness to make sure that people know what events actually occurred, but it's also combined with his need and his desire to grow. Noam and I were chavrutas for a short time um, when we learned together um, we were actually learning about just interpersonal skills, and I really enjoyed the time I spent with Noam. I'm going to miss you next year, Noam. Hatzlacha. It is always a pleasure to teach students like Zach Solomon. When I taught him in sixth and seventh grade, I remember how much he grew academically. More importantly, I was always so impressed with how Zach stood out and how he treated other students. He was always inclusive and thoughtful when talking with other students. With his growth and admirable traits, I know that Zach will accomplish great things. Good luck next year. Hi, 
I'm going to speak about one of my favorite Talmidos of all time, Daniela Schwartz. Daniela, as everybody knows, is a wonderful young lady, always bouncing down the halls with the biggest smile on her face. She brings tremendous ruach and simcha wherever she goes. Daniela, you are always a stickler for details in class. You always ask great questions and would never give in unless you understood and liked the answer. We wish the upper school a lot of Hatzlacha trying to contain Daniela Schwartz. Hi, my name is Moshe Shields and I'm here to speak about a wonderful middle school student, Aaron Shields. Aaron has many talents. He's a strong student in Gemara, in math, in telling me that I'm wrong and how we can make the middle school a better place. The one outstanding characteristic that I really find to be most impressive is how Aaron overcomes challenging situations. I was watching him and his English paper revise, redo it again and again and become somebody who is proficient in writing. Aaron, I look forward to hearing tonight how the graduation could have been better. Mazal tov, Aaron. Hi, I'm Mrs. Hoprich, and I had the pleasure of teaching Matan Schiller this year. Matan has the meat of respect. Matan was respectful to fellow students and teachers alike. He showed his respect through his good manners and through his ability to get along with everyone. Best wishes in upper school, Matan. Yossi Sloan may seem quiet on the outside, but lurking beneath that humble exterior is a Hollywood producer slash cinematic artist just waiting to pounce. Yossi, you are gifted with a sharp wit and an amazing creative sense in the visual arts. Your videos have always amazed me, and it is in the visual media that you truly shine. You are also always respectful, caring, and willing to lend a hand to a friend or anyone in need. You also demonstrate a great depth of soul in your understanding of what we are learning in Chumash. I have enjoyed teaching you and look forward to seeing your name on the big screen someday. That's Sloan with an E. All the best, Yassi. Hi, I'm Mrs. Atlas and I'm here to talk about Moid Sperling Milner. Moid is a great math student who is helpful and always has the energy to do more. He wants to help people specifically with their math homework, he's able to explain the difficult concepts very well. And his high energy allows him never to be tired or schlepping. He's ready to roll, ready to do what he needs to do to succeed himself, and to make sure that everybody succeeds as well. Hatzlach Moed. It is always a pleasure to teach students like Noam. When I taught Noam in seventh grade, I remember him as a highly creative mathematician who is able and always willing to work collaboratively to discover novel solutions to challenging questions. He also spent a considerable amount of time in my office this year hanging out during his break time. When I wasn't kicking him out, I had the opportunity to get to know him even better than I had previously. Noam has a wide variety of interests and skills, but most importantly, he's a mensch with an excellent moral compass. Have a great summer, and we'll miss you next year, Noam. The great David Tabin has been my student for a few years. Actually, it feels like he's always been in my class. David really distinguishes himself with his creativity, his great sense of humor, and even as he appreciates all things silly, he is able to cut the silly and demonstrate that he understands and internalizes the content and substance of what we are learning and that he respects it. His laugh is absolutely contagious and I have truly enjoyed having Mr. Tabinsky as my student and I know that he will have a great experience as he continues to learn and grow. Best of luck, David. It is always a pleasure to teach students like Adiel. This year, Adiel challenged herself and me in the best ways possible. She asks important questions and advocates for herself. She asks not only relevant questions, but also tough ones. 
Adiel never settles for second best and is always putting forth her very best work. She should be very proud of herself. Have a great summer and good luck in upper school. It has been awesome watching Shangel grow this year. She's a great friend, smart and intuitive. She always has great ideas and thoughts that she's willing to share with the class. Shangel has added so much to the dynamics of our Toast Book class this year. Shangel, I know you're going to do amazing next year in high school. Hatzacha Rabba. Hi, my name is Mrs. Weitzman, and I'm here to tell you why Zach Winters is a wonderful student at our school. Zach has the midah of sensitivity to humanity. I know this because when Zach speaks to others, his eyes shows that he is truly listening and that he wants to help and to be there for his friends. The midah of sensitivity is important for being successful in life because all of our lives we work with people and we need to be sensitive to their needs and to listen to the needs of our environment. This is what makes Zach a true leader. Zach, הרבה בהצלחה. I'd like to wish a mazel tov to Tuvia Zunnenberg on his graduation. When I think of Tuvia in class, I'm overwhelmed by his excitement to learn and his interest in the material. He references ideas from earlier in the year and prods me further with questions that are in the next unit. Tavia, I hope your curiosity and creativity continue throughout your career in high school. Mazal tov.